Whatever you're doing, do not go away because we have got Michael Brown, makeup artist extraordinaire, hottest makeup artist in Australia, who's going to give us a few cheeky tips of how best to use the stunning makeup range Anika. So, Michael, it's over to you. So the lovely Brenda here has a beautiful tan skin, so we need obviously a different shade. I'm going to use the inspiration on Brenda because it has a little bit more of that neutral tone again, because even tan skins can still have a little bit of a rosy cheek, which we can eliminate with the mineral powder. So I'm going to use the inspiration. Once again, that fabulous Kabuki brush. And it's a little tap, so all the pigment actually really works inside the brush. And once again, that beautiful buffing movement, you can see straight away, even from one side to the next, it really does take away that pink. And of course, we can add as much as we like, depending on what occasion you're going to. Is it natural? Is it more intense? Or is there photography as well? It's always good to think about that. So it's really quick and easy. There's no mess, it's all in the brush. And that nice buffing movement can really extend your coverage just that little bit extra, which is fantastic. And don't forget to sit a little bit under the chin for the neck. You don't wanna have a two-tone neckline, which is not a good look. Beautiful. Next, we're going to do that little bit of contouring and adding a bit of blush. Now, Brenda already has quite good cheekbones, but it's really nice to increase them more. The beautiful blooming nude in the pack is wonderful, not only for a blush colour, but also a contour, which means if you shade underneath the cheekbone and keep the actual top of the bone light, you'll actually give a lift. So it's great for that mini facelift that we're all probably looking for in makeup. So blooming nude is quite a natural shade which is why it can be so good for that contouring effect. Once again, with the bristles, always dab the pigment right in. Now we can see there's a lovely high cheekbone there. Well done, Brenda. And we're just going to add a little bit of color under the cheekbone, so right underneath, so it really sculpts it and also lifts. But at the front, we can also add a little bit of color on the apple to give her a fresh glow. And you can see again on this side, it's right under the bone. So don't apply blush too high as it won't really do anything. It's much nicer actually applying underneath. So you can really see the lift that you can get with the Blooming Nude. It's also fabulous as well sometimes just to get a little quick base colour on the eyes. So yes, it's blush, but it's that perfect tone for a base of an eyeshadow. So why not use it there as well to save some time? And you can still use the blush brush because I'm pinching it slightly to make it a little bit smaller, ready for the eye area. Beautiful. Brenda's already looking like she has a little bit more shape in the face of just one product. Now the lip. In the pack we have the beautiful Warm Dusk. So with this skin tone, you can wear many colours being a tan and the darker hair. But one thing people love to do at night time is have that smokier eye. So it's really nice to team it then with a lighter lipstick, nothing too dark or bright. And as you can see, the warm dusk is a, quite a nude look. It's going to give Brenda a little bit of colour being that slightly pinker shade. It's a nice wintry warm tone as well. And once we team this lipstick with the beautiful chocolate shades we're about to use, you'll see how it works magically having a lighter lip, still looking fresh, and then keeping the eyes darker. And the Unique lipsticks have that bit of vitamin E, so they actually feel really comfortable and quite moisturising. So dry lips are pretty much invisible when using the lipstick. Next, we're going to focus on the eyes. So we already placed a little bit of the Blooming Nude just in the socket to get a beautiful base with our eyeshadow. But now it's time to increase the look. 
and I'm going to use the beautiful Cocoa Eyeliner. As I mentioned on Jess before, it's absolutely so smooth, which is amazing. This close for me. One thing I love doing is using eyeliner as almost like an eyeshadow. So in this case, you can be really quick and even if you make a mistake, it doesn't matter because I'm going to smudge it to make it like a base eyeshadow. This technique is great for anyone who's busy, but also if you're thinking, I'm not a makeup artist, how do I do that? I'm even using my fingertip to show you how easy it is to use. And look up. Yeah. And a little bit underneath, just to make sure we're mirror imaging top from bottom of the eye and giving that lower lash also some definition. Gorgeous. Close, other side. And once again, you can see the liner that I'm actually applying is probably much thicker than most of you would think to apply because I'm using it purely to add pigment and depth and give uh, shape to the eye, then blending with my finger to give a beautiful smoky look. So ladies at home, if you just want one product for your eyes, I would go the Cocoa Aligner, which is in the pack. It's amazing because you can use it on the top, use your finger, blend it up, and it looks like it's eyeshadow. So it's a two-in-one product, which is amazing. Lovely. So now we have our eyeliner applied, we have more definition. It's great to always shape the eye before you start putting any shimmers or brighter products on. Next, we're going to use the Burnt Sienna. It's a gorgeous eyeshadow, has a little depth through it, but the Unique eyeshadows being loose, you have the benefit of keeping them loose, or you can also use them a little bit wet, which is amazing for a, like a liquid line. But they actually, you know, intense in colour when using them over a liner, as I'm about to now. And you can probably see straight away such a difference when I'm dabbing the eyeshadow into the liner, it just increases some colour and really lifts out the mobile part of the eyelid. And of course, the more you apply, the more intensity you get. But I like using my brush in smaller applications because I can always add more. If you apply too much and you're going out, it's really frustrating when you have to remove any product. Other side. So you can see how I really dab and press the eyeshadow into that lid. So I'm trying to release the product in a pressing, dabbing movement without any sweeping. As soon as you sweep, you will unfortunately get the fallout here, which is not so good. It might make the makeup look a bit dirty looking, and also shimmers can you know, fall onto the cheekbone, which isn't a good look. It's best to keep the eyeshadow where it's meant to be. Once the eyeshadow is applied, then you can use a sweeping movement just to blend the products together and make sure it's all looking like one beautiful blended, but yet contoured eye makeup. The next product and the last product from the eye pack today is the Whisper. The Whisper is a great highlighting product. You can even use a very small brush and even use it on top of the cheekbone as a powder eye. Um, had a highlighter, but today I'm going to use it really, you know, a tiny amount in the inner corner of the eye. Look up for me. So right in the tear duct, the inner V of the eye, that's where we always want to have light. So any dark shadows we may have are totally not visible and the light will hit on that, taking away from your shadow. So you might be able to see a little bit of a difference from the two eyes there. Having a lighter inner corner really brightens it up. You can also use a little bit of this whisper just underneath the peak of the brow to also add a little bit of a highlight there also. 
And sometimes for a different look, we love that, we can actually apply a little bit on the lid to also highlight the mobile part of the eye again. So it looks a little bit different from side to side. And look up again. And close, a little bit on the lid, as I did the other side, just to get a little bit more light onto the face. And lastly, the peak of the brow. So you can really see the eyeshadows can be applied quite quickly once you have that beautiful eyeliner as a base. It works much easier. Beautiful, thank you, Brenda. Looks great. Thanks so much for that, Michael. Brenda, you looked just stunning. And I know now how easy it is to use Anika and what a difference it really makes. Now, if you like any of the products, they are available online, shoppingchannel.co.nz, or you can give us a call on 0800 My Shop, which is 0800 69 74 67 to purchase anything. Enjoy being beautiful simply and quickly.